My name is Tiffany Cavaretto and I'm a graduate dietetics and nutrition student at Eastern Illinois University and today I want to talk to you about fad diets. A fad diet is a diet that becomes popular very quickly and just as quickly falls out of popularity. And there are many ways that you can recognize a fad diet. A fad diet often makes claims that are too good to be true, such as lose 10 pounds in two days. It also promises a quick fix or make rec makes recommendations based on a single study. Fad diets also may eliminate one or more of the five food groups. It may label foods as good or bad, and it may have complex rules or guidelines for you to follow. There are many examples of fad diets out there, but today I want to highlight specifically three of them, and I will explain what the, the premise of the diet is, the pros and cons of the diet, and why it is a fad diet. The first I'd like to talk about is the Atkins diet. I have the book right here. You can still get it today. It, the book was written by Dr. Robert Atkins in the 1970s, but the diet didn't become popular until 2003 and 2004. It's a low carbohydrate diet with four phases, with the first being the most restrictive, only allowing 20 grams of carbohydrates per day. And as a person goes through the phases of the diet, they gradually and add in more carbo carbohydrates, only to the point where weight is maintained. The pros of the Atkins diet are that it does help a person lose weight and improve their health. But the cons far outweigh the pros because it's a very high fat diet and it relies on ketosis for weight loss, which is the process of the body using fat for energy instead of carbohydrates. And it is unclear what the long-term effects of ketosis are on the body because many organs have to work very hard in order to sustain the process. The Atkins diet is considered a fad diet because it labels carbohydrates as bad. The next diet I want to talk about is the cabbage soup diet. And I have a printout on the internet of what the guidelines are. It is a seven-day meal plan that incorporates homemade cabbage soup daily with different foods each day, such as bananas, other fruit, vegetables, meat, brown rice, milk, and tomatoes. The pros of the cabbage soup diet are that it does help people lose weight quickly. And the cabbage, the cabbage broccoli, and cauliflower in the soup do help prevent cancer, and it also helps people to curb their junk food eating habits. There, there are several cons to the diet, though, however. It's very bland. It promotes gas. It is very high in sodium, and it doesn't help people to learn long-term weight maintenance strategies. The cabbage soup diet is considered a fad diet because it is very restrictive and only has certain guidelines of what you can do on certain days, and it does have you lose weight really quickly. The, the last diet I want to talk about is the Zone Diet, and I have the book right here. It was written by Dr. Barry Sears, and it incorporates nutrient ratios of 40% carbohydrate, 30% fat, and 30% protein in every meal. The pros of the diet are that it does help people lose weight, and it does incorporate balance of having carbohydrate and protein and fat at every meal and snack. The cons of the diet, however, are that it is very complex and hard to understand because there's many ratios and percentages, which makes it hard to incorporate in practical terms in everyday life. And also people have difficulty eating with their friends and family because they have such a structured meal plan and it doesn't promote exercise. The zone diet is a fad diet because it has very complex rules and guidelines. So I, I have these examples that I showed you already of the diets, but this is a book that I read for a class called The Paleo Diet, and this essentially tells you to eat like a caveman by incorporating lean meats, fruits, and vegetables while eliminating the grain and dairy products groups. And that's precisely why this book is a fad diet and a diet plan, because it does eliminate the two food groups. So in conclusion, sound diet plans incorporate slow, steady weight loss. They emphasize moderation, and variety, and they do not focus on a single food or eliminate any of the five food groups. Let the dieter beware.